Hey guys, what's up? Beckbro Jack here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Damage Indicators mod for Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> So I've done a lot of tutorials in the past and a lot of them seem to be very enjoyable so I decided to make another one because Damage Indicators mod has recently been updated to 1.7.2. So I will show you guys how to install that to uh, your Minecraft so you can have Damage Indicators. And if you don't know what it is uh, I will kind of explain it when after I'm done downloading it. So you're going to go to this Minecraft forum link uh, which will be in the description. And this is the main page for it, so don't worry about uh, viruses or anything like that. And this uh, requires you download Forge. Um, I made a previous video on how to actually install Forge to uh, your Minecraft. So if you want to go check that out, um, you can go check it out and it'll show you how to install Forge. But once you have that, uh, all you're going to do is scroll down here and uh, click on Damage Indicators 1.7.2 Beta. You're going to click on that and it'll bring you to the AdFly page. So you kind of just have to wait for that. Um, and then once you're done, obviously you hit skip add and it'll bring you to this page. Just hit download damage indicators for version 1.7.2. And when it says this type of file can harm your computer, um, it really will not harm your computer. I am telling you um, from my heart, it will not harm your computer. So just hit keep, this is not any like um, virus or anything like that, this is the actual mod maker posting it here. Uh, your computer just says that um, because your browser makes it say it, because obviously anything you download offline can obviously harm your computer. But uh, in this case, trust me, it will not harm your computer. So once you have that, I would drag it off to the side because you're going to need this file later. So if you are on a Windows, uh, Windows 7, go type in percent app data percent and um, click enter and it'll bring you to this page obviously if you're using like uh, Windows 8 or Mac just navigate to your dot Minecraft folder uh, I don't really use Windows 8 that much so I'm not really sure how to get to your dot to your dot Minecraft folder from uh, a Windows 8 or Mac but once you get to there you're gonna hit on dot Minecraft and then scroll into your mods folder um, if you don't have a mods folder, just create a mods folder. And to do that, you just have to right click, uh, hit new folder, and then name it mods, just like this is named. So once you open that, you're just going to drag your damage indicators mod into your mods folder. And you don't really need Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using anymore. So you can close that. And then uh, if you want to, you can minimize that folder. And then you're going to start your Minecraft. This is actually uh, just the new Minecraft launcher. I know it says Minecraft 1.6, but it's the it's really Minecraft 1.7. So um, yeah, you, you're going to run your Forge profile that I showed you how to make in the previous video. And all you have to do is hit play. And we're gonna wait for that to load. And um, I will show you that is working. I'll go into my world and uh, we can look at some different things. And I can show you kind of how to use um, damage indicators if you are not very familiar with it. So let's wait for that to load up. Um, it is in early beta because it really just came out. Uh, I think it came out maybe like a couple days ago. So yeah, um, it is a little bit buggy. Uh, it did crash for me the first time that I ever did it, but I tried to reopen it and uh, it did work for me. So as you can see, uh, Forge is in beta as well. Like everything's in beta because Minecraft kind of just released its uh, API, I think. And that's how they were able to make these mods. So let's make sure that my music is off. I don't really like to have the music on because I put in my own music over the video. So I'll go into my single player mod world. Uh, this should also work on any multiplayer world because this is just uh, for your own profile. It doesn't actually affect the game anyway. I, I used to use uh, this damage indicators mod for 1.6.4 a lot actually if you check out some of my mod showcases there. So uh, as you can see it says damage indicators mod version 3.0 up to date perfect. So um, let's look at this basically what this mod does is in the top left corner it will kind of display uh, any mob that you look at. It will display that mob how much health it has. Oh my god my sound is just very loud put my master, master volume to 50 and um, yeah as you can see it says Merry Christmas I guess it was made right around Christmas time 
and it'll show you kind of uh, what kind of mob it is. Obviously, if it's uh, red, it's not really friendly. So yeah, um, that's kind of really all it does. Also, if you hit a mob, it'll pop up the um, how much damage you actually do. So it'll pop up like one, and it'll also tell you if you get a, uh, a critical hit. So let's go into, uh, if you want to like configure this a little bit more, um, there's different ways to do that. Uh, all you have to do is hit, hit period on your keyboard and it'll bring you to the page. And uh, you can mess around with the settings. Um, if you don't like the portrait there and you just want the damage showing up, you can do that. Uh, also potion effects, it'll show them. Uh, let's see, I guess you can also move this a lot. I mean, you can move this around if you want to, like if you want it on an opposite side. Uh, let's see, enable pop-offs, uh, GUI scale, you can also change the color, which is really neat. So if you wanted the damage to show up, uh, I guess in like a red, you can do that. Let me close this out. Uh, you can also uh, select the skin. So I kind of like the WoW one, or possibly the minimal one, which is just a little bit smaller. But let's try the WoW one. Uh, WoW stands for World of Warcraft. Uh, there's high compatibility rendering. I don't know what all this stuff does and there's also an advanced thing I wouldn't really mess with that too much So as you can see now um, It shows up in the that type of skin You can also download skins off of the minecraft forum page. I believe there's uh, skins that you could download off of there So yeah, that's really it. Uh, let's see if it's red now as you can see Yeah, it's kind of like a reddish pink because I made it that color and uh, yeah, it really works with anything. It'll work with uh, iron golems. It'll work with anything that you download off of mods too. So as you can see, it shows the iron golem and shows like a little skin of him. And it'll also work for the wither as well and any other boss such as like the ender dragon. So you can plop that down and yeah, he'll, it'll show that and the iron golem and him are about to fight it out. But yeah, that's really it guys. This is how you install and download um, Damage Indicators mod for Minecraft 1.7 and it should work for any other version of Minecraft. So yeah, let's get away from this battle and uh, yeah, that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. And that is really it guys. I will see you guys all next time. Bye.